What's up guys, Jose here at ShreddedDad.com and in this video I'm going to give you a quick review of the Titan Wide Dip Bar. It's a solid piece of equipment, weighs about 28 pounds and it's in the shape of a Y. The reason for that is to accommodate people of different sizes. So somebody that's smaller would get closer to the base of the dip bar, which is right here. This is the part that attaches to a rack, a squat rack. And then a bigger person would be better off towards the end. Of the dip bar. Now each handle here from, from the base all the way to the tip here is 15 inches long. Each one of these handles is 2 inches thick so they're pretty thick and then the widest point between here and here is 2 feet apart. Now as I said this thing weighs about 28 pounds so it's very very solid and it's probably going to be the last dip bar you'll ever buy. It's I don't think anything can break this thing is heavy duty. Now I'm going to show you how to attach it to the rack. So attaching the dip bar to the rack is pretty straightforward. You just place this end against the rack and then lock it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. I got the locking pin. I'm going to stick it in the hole. Once I get it through the hole it's being held up already and all I have to do is secure it in place by putting this clip on the back and it's all ready to go. Now one important thing to note is that if your rack is not secured to the floor or to the wall, it is recommended that you put the, the dip bar on the inside of the bar, of the rack, I'm sorry. And the reason for that is that so that you don't tip the, the whole rack over in case you're using too much weight. Now obviously the dip bar is meant for dips, however that's not the only exercise that I do on here. I use it for prone grip pull-ups, I use it for L-sits, leg raises, inverted rows. You basically can use it for many exercises. And one tip I got from a power lifter is the importance of the scapula or the shoulder blades when it comes to exercises in the upper body. They create stability in the body and whenever you have more stability you can create more power so you can lift more. Now when it comes to the wide dip bar because your arms are flared out when you're facing this way, they're flaring out in this direction, you have less stability in your shoulder blades because they spread out as well. So you're going to be able to lift less. So the tip that I got from the power lifter is to face the other way, to do it in this direction. Now your elbows are going to be closer to your body. The closer they are to your body, the, the scapula are going to be more secure and you're going to be able to create more power and lift more weight. So that's the review for the white dip bar. I hope you liked it. It's a very solid piece of equipment and I highly recommend it. You can learn more about it at shreddedad.com slash dip bar. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.